As the weather gets colder, Katie Kramer isn't being discouraged from her hiking at Glen Helen Park. I'm training to hike the Appalachian Trail in February, and um, I was just walking by the river and I got down close to it, and I just saw like dozens of disks of floating ice. I didn't really know what to think, I'd never seen it before. So Kramer reached out to Two News to see if we had an answer. I made about a dozen calls around the area and even to the National Weather Service. But for the most part, many did not know what this natural phenomenon was. Then I lucked out. The officials with the Miami Conservancy District say what a Kramer saw was pancake ice. After some more research, I learned that as a body of water freezes, small crystals called frizzles form. But in order to form pancake ice, there must be rough waters. So the recently colder temps and rough waters made for the perfect condition for the Yellow Springs Creek to form the circular disk, often called pancake ice because of their shape. And some more research points to what can happen next. I found out with rough water as the temperature continues to dip, that same ice will change. That pancake ice will eventually cement together, which means there could be sheet ice on Yellow Springs Creek. In a deep freeze like we're experiencing, that can be dangerous. So Kramer says she'll be safe, but the pancake ice plus the cold weather will not stop her hiking. Yeah, it was really awesome to see and it would be nice to see him again. That ice will eventually melt with warmer temperatures, something maybe Brian Davis can tell us is coming in the next few days. Who knows? But now, if you have a tip or a question for 2 News, you can also report it. Just email us at newstips at WDTN.com. Reporting in the studio, Beershall Edmay, 2 News, working for you.